pleasant good morning to you. God is very good. Thanks for his goodness towards us. You know, Luke chapter 4 and verse 27 says something. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elias, the prophet. And none of them was cleansed, saving Naaman the Syrian. These are Jesus' words. And I use them to explain to us that we sometimes underestimate the faith of a child. You must go back and read the story in 2 Kings chapter 5. And you're going to notice that a key figure who is left out many times when we preach in that story is Naaman's maid. Naaman's maid never saw somebody with leprosy healed based on the text that we just used there. Because the only leper was he who was healed in Naaman's time was Naaman himself. The little maid was captured and she should have been bitter. But instead of being bitter, she had faith enough to know that Elisha could heal her master Naaman. Greater, she didn't see that happening before. But the faith she had, uh, well, most likely she saw other things or heard of other miracles that Elisha worked. For example, she heard most likely that the Jordan was divided uh, when Elisha used Elijah's mantle and divided the Jordan. But she never saw, and even though she never saw a leper being healed by Elisha, she believed that Elisha could heal her master. Next time you're talking about faith, refer to the faith of that child. And we say that children cannot believe in God and don't have a clear understanding. She had, and many children today in this modern day and age, they believe in God, they understand God, and they have faith in God. Allow their faith to bear fruits. God and Father, be with us today and help us to reflect on, on Naaman's maid and how she referred her master to Elisha and eventually got healing. Bless the children especially today and strengthen the faith I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. May God richly bless you. Only Savior, with thy love our blossom still. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, thou hast loved us, love us still. Blessed Jesus.